Good morning, everyone. Today is Saturday, August 17th, 2024. This is Upside Watchman Antoine, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I have an urgent prophetic warning from the Lord about Sean Puffy Combs. And the Bible says on Acts chapter 2, verse 17, And it shall come to pass in the last days, says God, that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh, your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions. Your old men shall dream dreams. And that's Acts chapter 2, verse 17. So this is a warning um, in concern about Sean Puffy Combs. This warning is not to scare you all. And that warning goes before destruction. I repeat, warning goes before destruction. And that's Hebrews chapter 2, verse 7. I mean, Hebrews chapter 2, verse 1. Sorry. Hebrews chapter 2, verse 1. Amen. So before I share this urgent prophetic warning from the Lord about Sean Puffy Combs, the Lord wants me to share this dream to you all. I have this dream this morning. And um, this one's also about Sean Puffy Combs. So in my dream, I was in my elementary school and I was in the hallway. And right in front of the lunchroom, and right in front of all people, lined up for lunches. And then while I was in the hallway, I saw stacks of books. And all these books, these stacks of books, are Bibles and also Christian living books. You know, like reading regular books and Christian living books from all different authors. So when I look at all these uh, stacks of books... I saw at the bottom that says occultism. At the bottom of the sex books, I saw a book called Occultism. And that book is full of witchcraft, divination, um, witchcraft, and all other demonic spirits inside of occultism books. It is a brown covered demonic occultism book. And that no one is to touch that book and that's why it's placed as a, at the bottom of the stacks of books while the stack of the books like the top of the stack of books there's a bible on top of the books and then there's christian living in the middle of the stacks of the books as well so when i look at these stacks of books i look up and i saw sean puffy combs and he was smiling at me and then I had no idea why he was smiling at me as well. So he bent down and then he skipped the Bibles and he skipped the Christian living books. And then he ended up picking up the last book called Occultism. And that book is full of witchcraft, divination, pride, rejection, rebellion, sexual immorality, etc. So he picked up that demonic book and he started reading that occultism book and then I grabbed the um, the book the, the Christian living book called repentance but then he immediately ran away from it he immediately ran away um, from the stacks of the books and from the hallways and then he just he just ran away and made his uh, right turn um, into the other hallways and I tried to go after him, but then all of a sudden, he was gone. He was vanished. And I had no idea where he went to. So I pick up the book called Repentance. And then I'm trying, and then I'm trying to find him, but then he was gone. And I wanted to use that book so that I would share with him the gospel of Jesus Christ. And to share with him about repentance. And then... Of course, he is gone and he is nowhere to be found. And so, after that, my dream ended and then I woke up. And then the Lord showed me that these stacks of books that the Lord showed me, he showed me the Bible and all Christian living books. That means that the Lord wants me to continue on living in a foundation with God 
Continue on having a relationship with Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Continue on gathering wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from Him so that He will be my teacher and that He will teach me everything that He wants me to know. And then when He showed me about occultism at the bottom of the stats of books, He told me, do not touch that book because that book is full of witchcraft, divination, pride, witchcraft and all satanic rituals and satanic demon spirits and then when the lord showed me about sean puffy Combs who pick up the last book and not the bible and not the christian living books that means that the lord is showing me that sean puffy Combs have rejected the gospel of jesus christ and have rejected jesus christ as lord and savior and have decided to practice more sins and clearly making himself as an um, as an idol and practicing idolatry. And that since he had rejected the gospel of Jesus Christ, and since he picked up that book called Occultism for Witchcraft and All Demi Spirits, that means he had made his own choice to serve Satan and all demon spirits by using his music and his music albums to bring witchcraft unto all people and to control all people with witchcraft, manipulation, divination, hatred, barrenness, and all ungodly sins. And then when Sean Puffy consoled me picking up a book called Repentance, he immediately ran away, which means he's running away from, from accepting Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. He kept denying Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. And even that he had heard from God that God told him, repent, repent, and repent immediately. But then he refused to repent. And he refused to accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. And he kept denying Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. And all he cared about is himself, his love of sins, his own idolatry. And then also he cares about sexual immorality, um, with homosexuality, lusts and temptations. He cares so much about money, fame, and fortune. All that leads into idolatry. And that he made himself as an idol. And that he cared less about people as well. And then when, and of course when he saw me uh, picking up the book called Repentance, he immediately ran away. Because he don't, because he do not want to accept Jesus Christ as Lord Savior. And he kept denying Jesus Christ as Lord Savior. And that he had chose to worship Satan and all demon spirits. And that he had made himself a Freemason and a Illuminati and chose to serve men and women and, and, and all ungodly sins in this world full of distractions. So that's what the Lord is showing me. And of course the Lord also showed me that I was trying to share the gospel of Jesus Christ and to lead him into a prayer of repentance and salvation. But he kept running away from him. So after he ran away, then that's when I have to pray for him. For salvation. And that's what the Lord wants me to do as well. Excuse me. So um, that's the prophetic warning dream that I have. That I want to share with you all as well. And now... The Lord has a word about Sean Puffy Combs. So please pay attention very carefully. This is very important. God is here to save your life. And he is not here to put you all towards male and female idols. He does not want you all to worship male and female idols. Including secular music artists. Including Sean Puffy Combs. And including all the other idols. Including movie and television idols. Politician idols, sports idols, and all the other idols. God is here to save your life, not to bring you into sins. He's here to restore you, and He's here to draw you closer and closer to Him because He's the only way to heaven, the truth, and the life that no one comes unto the Father but by Him. Look at John chapter 14, verse 6, and John chapter 3, verse 16. Amen. So, the Bible says on Colossians chapter 3, verse 1 to 10, If then you were raised with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ is, sitting at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth. 
For you died and your life is hidden with Christ and God. When Christ, who is our life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Therefore, put to death your members which are on the earth, fornication, uncleanness, passion, evil desires, and covetousness, which is idolatry. Because of these things, the wrath of God is coming upon the sons of disobedience, in which you yourselves once walk, once walk when you live in them. But now you yourselves are to put off these things, anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy language, or curse words, out of your mouth. Do not lie to one another, since you have put off the old man with his deeds, and have put on the new man which, who is renewed in knowledge according to the image of him who created him. And that is uh, Colossians chapter 3 verse 1 to 10. Now, Isaiah chapter 44, verse 9 to 11 says, How foolish are those who manufacture idols. These prized objects are really worthless. The people who worship idols don't know this. So they are all put to shame. Who but a fool would make his own guy, an idol that cannot help him one bit? All who worship idols will be disgraced along with all these craftsmen, mere humans, who claim they can make a god. They may all stand together, but they will stand in terror and in shame. And that's Isaiah chapter 44, verse 9 to 11. And then lastly, Exodus chapter 20, verse 4 and 5 says, You must not make any idols. Do not make any statues or pictures of, any, or of anything up in the sky or anything on the earth or anything down in the water. Do not worship or serve idols of any kind, because I, the Lord, am your God. I hate my people worshiping other gods. People who sinned against me because, became my enemies. Again, people who sinned against me become my enemies, and I will punish them. And I will punish their children and their grandchildren and even their great-grandchildren. And that's Exodus chapter 20, verse 4 and 5. Amen. So with that, here is the prophetic warning from the Lord. And the Lord is saying to you all, Listen to me, my sons and my daughters. My son and my prophet, including my apostolic watchman, Antoine of Westbrooks, is telling you all the truth about his rapture dream today and including Sean Puffy Combs as well. Listen to his dream that he posted today about his rapture dream and about his, and about my warnings about Sean Puffy Combs, said the Lord of hosts. I am warning, I am warning him and including you all not to go near to Sean Puffy Combs anymore because Sean Puffy Combs have denied me and have denied my warnings from me as Jesus Christ. He have also denied repentance unto me as Jesus Christ and have given his life over to Satan and all demon spirits, including the Antichrist and the Baphomet spirit, said the Lord of hosts. I am, I am the only one who warned you all about Sean Puffy Combs. And I have given my dream to my son, Antoine R. Westbrooks, to share his dream about Sean Puffy comes today, and I am warning you all again today. So stay away from Sean Puffy comes immediately, for he has denied me several times with repentance, and because he have denied me several times, then I have no choice but to give him over to Satan and all demon spirits, where he will perish and die from this earth and into the lake of fire in hell forever. And he will be kicked out of heaven, and he will be cast into the lake of fire and hell in the afterlife in the last minute of his life unless he repents and to surrender his life to me as Jesus Christ, be filled or be baptized with the Holy Spirit, and receive healing, deliverance, discipleships, church homes, and then attending Bible studies to study my word and the Bible and to have a relationship with me as Jesus Christ without being religious again, said the Lord of hosts. 
it will fall with the rest of all idols, including all secular celebrities and all secular music artists. He has committed abomination against me and against my people, and he has mocked and scoffed against me with his music and his music albums. He has denied, he have denied loving women, and he has decided to fall in love with men by committing homosexuality and sexual immorality towards them. He has practiced witchcraft, occultism, divination, sexual immorality, including homosexuality, pride, lust and temptations, witchcraft, idolatry, and all ungodly sins through his music, his music albums, and through himself and all people around him, said the Lord of hosts. He is a Freemason and Illuminati, where he serves Satan and all demon spirits, including a Baphomet spirit, and including all men in his group, along with T.D. Jakes as well, said the Lord of hosts. He has been used by Satan to lead all people, both men and women and children, away from me as Jesus Christ, as Lord and Savior, and he has brought them into ungodly sins with sexual immorality, pride, lust and temptations, homosexuality, evil desires, greed, fame, and fortune, and all ungodly sins. So stay away from Sean Puffy Combs immediately. He is no longer your idols anymore, and I will separate you all away from him and away from Satan and all demon spirits and away from his music and away from his music albums full of witchcraft and all demon spirits. I will draw you all near to me with I will draw you all near to me with repentance and salvation, baptism of the Holy Spirit, water baptism, healing, deliverance, discipleships, church homes, and including Bible studies. So once again, do not worship nor support Sean Puffy Combs and his music and his music items and his music albums, including Satan and all demon spirits. I will tear down and destroy all idols here on this earth immediately, because my wrath of God is here right now, and so as their judgment day, unless they repent and to surrender their lives to me, as Jesus Christ immediately said the Lord of hosts. America will no longer have idols anymore, including movie and television stars and celebrities, secular music artists, sports celebrities and stars, political men and women, and politics, and all other idols around the areas as well anymore. Sean Puffy Combs will not be your idols anymore, and he will fall along, and he will fall along with the rest of of all male and female and statues of idols with God's wrath in the last days unless he repent immediately, said the Lord of hosts. Sean Puffy Combs and all idols, including all idols, are not the way to heaven, but they are the way to hell, and they will lead you all straight to Satan and all demon spirits who will kill, steal, and destroy you all here on this earth and into eternal death and the lake of fire forever, said the Lord of hosts. If anyone worships Sean Puffy Combs by listening to his secular music, donating money to him, and supporting him so much on his music and music albums, on social media, and on television and movie and movies, and in person, including all male and female idols as well, then I will punish you all and all people and you all will fall with him and the rest of the idols too by my sword of the spirit and with the wrath of God. And you all will be burned in the lake of fire and hell with eternal death, eternal punishment, and eternal destruction immediately. Unless you all repent first and immediately to avoid my wrath of God, said the Lord of hosts. I do not want to see my people perish in the last days. I am here to save all people's lives away from idols, away from Sean Puffy Combs, away from male and female and statues of idols, 
away from Satan and all demon spirits and away from the lake of fire in hell and the afterlife, said the Lord of hosts. I will not bring my people, I will not bring any people to heaven when they decide to serve sins and to serve idols, including their own two masters, both Sean Puffy Combs and the rest of, the, of all idols, and with me as Jesus Christ, as Lord and Savior. So do not worship and do not serve two masters. Again, I say, do not serve and do not worship two masters, including your idols. You need to hate and to let go of all idols, including Sean Puffy Combs, and you need to serve me as Jesus Christ only by giving your life to me as Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, including being baptized with the Holy Spirit, water baptism, healing, deliverance, church homes, and then the cypherships, including Bible studies as well, said the Lord of hosts. I am the only way to heaven, the truth and the life, and that no one comes unto the Father but my me said the Lord of hosts. I am the only way to heaven, the truth and the life, and that no one comes unto the Father but by me only, said the Lord of hosts. So look at John chapter 3 verse 16 and John chapter 14 verse 6 so that I will show you proof that I am the only way to heaven. No one else can get you all straight to heaven, but everyone else who deny me and who have served male and female and statues of idols are leading you all straight to hell, said the Lord of hosts. If anyone hated me, denied me, and hated my warnings from me as Jesus Christ, including my warnings about Sean Puffy Combs, and including the rapture dream from my brother in Christ, for my prophet and for my son, Antoine R. Westbrook, including everyone else as well, then I will send down my wrath of God immediately, and they will face their judgment and the wrath of God with downfalls and or destructions unless they repent immediately and to give their lives to me as Jesus Christ before I come like a thief in the night and with the twinkling of an eye unexpectedly and immediately from Matthew chapter 24 verse 36 to 44 said the Lord of hosts. If they hated me as Jesus Christ for no reason and if they refused to repent and to surrender all their sins and all their male and female idols including statues of idols to me as Jesus Christ before their time is up on this earth. If they still worship idols, both male and female idols and statues of idols, and if they still refuse to repent and to accept me as Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, then I will deny him and her and all people from, from me and from going to heaven in the afterlife and I will give them over to Satan and all demon spirits by casting them in the lake of fire in hell where they will receive eternal death, eternal punishment, and eternal destruction forever, said the Lord of hosts. So choose this day who you will serve. It is either you serve me as Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and as the only way to heaven with eternal life forever or Satan, the devil, who will kill, steal, and destroy you all on this earth and into the lake of fire in hell forever, said the Lord of hosts. There is no middle ground nor middle ground to escape from heaven and hell in the afterlife, said the Lord of hosts. The choice is yours, said the Lord of hosts. Judgment day is here right now. I repeat, judgment day is here right now said the Lord of hosts. All idols will fall by my wrath of God. I repeat, all idols will fall by my wrath of God, said the Lord of hosts. So please repent immediately right now before my wrath of God comes with downfalls and destructions, said the Lord of hosts. Do not worship Sean Puffy Combs 
anymore, including all male and female and statues of idols, and including Satan and all demon spirits, for they are not your gods anymore, and they will fall by my wrath of God immediately, said the Lord of hosts. Stay away from them immediately, and understand that I am the one who died on the cross for all your sins and all your wrongdoings. I am the one who is the only way to, to heaven and not everyone else. I am the Son of God who is not here to judge you all, including all people, but to save all people's lives, including you all's lives, away from sins, away from going to hell and the afterlife, and away from Satan and all demon spirits, and, in, and away from all idols, both male and female, and statues of idols, and including Sean Puffy Combs. And I am the way, the truth, and the life, and that no one comes unto my Father but by me, as Jesus Christ said the Lord of hosts. So do not reject me and my warnings about Sean Puffy Combs, for I did nothing wrong to you all. I am here to protect you all, and to keep you all safe with me, along with my angels as well. And I am here to pull you all away from Satan who uses Sean Puffy Combs and all male and female idols to bring you all into ungodly sins, becoming lovers of, of Satan and all demon spirits, becoming lovers of sins and lovers of male and female idols. And that Satan is using them to kill, steal, and destroy you all here on this earth and into the lake of fire and hell in the afterlife, said the Lord of hosts. So repent, repent, and repent unto me as Jesus Christ immediately before I come and show up on the clouds with power and great glory for the pre-tribulation rapture of the church from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 16 to 18 before my before my wrath of God comes, before judgment day comes, which is here right now, before the seven year tribulation comes, and before your time is up on this earth, said the Lord of hosts. The choice is still yours, said the Lord of hosts. And that is a prophetic warning from the Lord. Amen. And this is your final warning to repent repent and repent immediately and to stay away and to get away from all male and female and statues of idols including Sean Puffy Combs. This is God's last warning that he is addressing to you all to repent, repent and repent immediately and be baptized with the Holy Spirit and get water baptism and, and along with healing, deliverance, church homes, discipleships and including Bible studies. Amen. So, if you do not want to go to hell and into the lake of fire with hatred, bitterness, unforgiveness, disobedience, pride, witchcraft, mocking, scoffing, protesting, homosexuality, sexual immorality, supporting ungodly sins with all idols, committing idolatry, and practicing all ungodly sins at the last minute of your life, and if you do not want to be left behind after the rapture of the church and to suffer God's wrath in the seven year tribulation in this world here on this earth and if you want to go to heaven to be with Jesus Christ forever by having your name be written in the Lamb's book of life forever and if you have never accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and even if you are lukewarm or backslide away from God and into sins before the rapture comes then say this simple repentance prayer with me. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, I am a sinner, and I'm asking you to forgive me for all my sins. In the name of Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross for all my sins, and that you are raised from the dead the third day, so that I shall be saved. So thank you, Lord Jesus, for saving my life and for dying on the cross for all my sins. I accept you now as my Lord and my Savior. Wash me, cleanse me, protect me, and cover me with your blood, and fill me with your Holy Spirit with spiritual fire. I receive you now as my Lord and my Savior, and I receive your Holy Spirit right now. For your word says, Ask and shall be given unto you. Seek and ye shall find. 
Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. So Father, pour out your Holy Spirit into my life by giving me tongues to speak and to pray in the Holy Spirit so, I, so that way I shall receive your Holy Spirit from you right now. In Jesus' name I pray. And I receive your Holy Spirit right now. And I accept you, Lord Jesus, and I receive you now as my Lord and my Savior. I am yours, and you are mine. In Jesus' mighty name I pray, forever and ever. Amen. Now the Bible says in Romans chapter 10, verse 9 and 10, that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So congratulations and welcome to the heavenly kingdom family. And yes, you are right ready for the return and for the coming of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, including the pre-tribulation rapture of the church. Amen. So I encourage you all to find a church home that share the gospel of Jesus Christ and that lead all people and all souls unto salvation along with baptism of the Holy Spirit, water baptism, healing, deliverance, and discipleships, including Bible studies as well. And I also encourage you all to read the book of John and the Bible to learn more about Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And also read the book of Acts to learn more about the Holy Spirit and how to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit as well. And then finally, read the rest, read the rest of the Bible. So that way you all can learn more about God's creation of heaven and earth, including us, that's you and me, as human beings, our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, including the Holy Spirit, other Bible characters that still existed long time ago here on this earth, and the revealing of what's to come in the future from the book of Revelation in the Bible. Amen. So please keep Sean Puffy comes in your prayers. Stay away from him. Stay away from his music. Stay away from his music albums. And stay away from him completely because he's no longer serving God. He's no longer serving Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. He has decided to serve Satan and all demon spirits, including a Baphomet spirit, and that he is a Freemason and a Illuminati. And that this man needs to repent immediately before the, wrath of, before the wrath of God comes straight unto him and straight unto his door immediately. So please pray for him for salvation, baptism of the Holy Spirit, water baptism, healing, deliverance, church homes, and then discipleships. And then that way his life will be spared and that his life will, will no longer belong to Satan anymore. He will no longer serve Satan ever again. And that he will give his whole life to Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. And that his life will be spared away from God's wrath immediately. So please keep him in your prayers as well. Because we do not want Satan to, to kill, steal, and destroy him along with the rest of the idols. We need to pray for them. And if they refuse to repent, let them go. Give Give them all to God in prayers and let God handle the rest. For his word says that vengeance is mine. I will repay, said the Lord of hosts. So look at Romans chapter 12, verse 17 to 21. And also Romans chapter 9, verse 15 to 26 as well. Including Ephesians 6, verse 11 to 13. Romans 10, 9 and 10. And all the other scriptures so that way you can prepare it for spiritual warfare and you can and that way you all will prepare it for um to watch to pray and to intercede for sean puffy cones and all the male and female idols amen so god bless you all jesus love you all peace and shalom and i can't wait to see you all in the clouds in heaven during the pre-tribulation rapture of the church and please take heed to god's warning God is not here to bring you all down. He's here to save your life and he's here to save Sean Puffy Cone's life. And it's up to you all, including him, to decide whose side you're going to serve. Either you serve Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior or Satan who will still kill, steal, and destroy you all here on this earth and into the lake of fire forever. The choice is yours. God bless you all and Jesus love you all and peace and shalom.
Take care and God bless you all.